we treat in a year over 2,000 patients as an inpatient, but uh, outpatient consultation, it is 4,000. That means 6,000 patients in a year. Not every uh, fat leg is lipedema. The picture of alimentary obesity depends on sex. The uh, women, they have more legs and, and uh, gluteal region, and the men, the beer belly. <laughs> uh, but it is not a, a lipedema. This is a really chaos concerning lipedema because increased uh, fat tissue can be alimentary. So, uh, diseases of the fat tissue from a lymphological point of view, there are the adipocytes, and you can see this is the septa. Uh, this is the fascia, this is the corium, and here, and in the septa we can find the uh, lymph vessels, we can find the blood capillaries and the nerve. Now we know we have two kinds of diseases of the fat tissue. It can start with the septa or it can start with the lobuli, that means with the adipocyte. A lip edema starts with diseases of the septa, that means in this septa they are the blood capillaries and the nerves and the blood capillaries the permeability of the blood capillaries is elevated the septa became edematous and swollen and then the same changing that in lymphedema is going on in the septa and of course later on uh, the adipocytes are uh, affected too. There's obesity, but it is not a lipedema. This is so-called fat leg of the healthy woman. Once again, no edema and then contrary, this is a lipedema. You can see on the legs, this is swollen, and this is the finding on the changing of the lymph capillaries in the septa. Uh, this is the normal finding, and this is uh, the finding in lipedema. But it has to be distinguished. This is stage one, stage two, and stage three is already stemocyne positive. This is the lipolymphedema. Uh, conservatively, with lymph drainage, compression, uh, medical exercises, we can help here. We can not help here. Our method is doesn't work. The method is not enough. Uh, standardized. I visited the Mayo Clinic, uh, Dr. Straten, angiologist, developed test. This is a water overloading test. The patient has to drink 20 milliliters per uh, body weight kilogram in 20 minutes. The patient remains standing for four hours. Uh, before this uh, period and after this period, a leg volume measurement is carried out and uh, we collect the urine. If the septa is affected, the permeability of the capillaries is increased. The leg volume increased more than 250 milliliter, and the urine is less than 80% of the water that the patient drank. And then we can see, yes, this is really a 
lip edema, this is only increased, genetically increased fat tissue. Uh, it's well known some diseases has a significant correlation to lipedema, such thyroid gland diseases and other hormone disturbances, metabolic diseases and so on. But how and how strong the correlation, probably a year later I can tell you. It's, uh, we have the study now. The uh, no why lipedema appear. Why lipedema in some patients uh, developed? That's the question. Why lipedema is a sign, a sign for a disease. And I would like to know the disease that caused lipedema. That's the question. Very simple. <laughs>